Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'm going to discuss whether you should get a second booster or fourth COVID vaccine shot. On March 29th, the FDA recommended a second booster shot for all Americans aged 50 and older, and anyone 12 years and older with certain immune deficiencies. The booster will be recommended at least four months after you received your first booster. So what should you do? And what should you recommend to your older family members? First, let's look at why this is being talked about now. It's based on an Israeli study, not yet peer reviewed, in more than 500,000 adults aged 60 to 100 years old. This study found that a second booster provided significant protection against death from COVID-19. Of the 329,000 people that received a second booster during a 40-day study period earlier this year, 92 recipients died. While of the 230,000 patients who had only one booster, 232 people died. Therefore, the death rate was significantly lower among those patients that had received a second booster shot. But let's be honest, we're all tired. Vaccine fatigue has set in. About two thirds of those 65 and older that are eligible for the first booster have received them and trying to talk people into getting yet another booster will be a very hard sell. And another recent Israeli study looked at data on a second booster in a total of 1,050 people. This population studied was much younger with a mean age in each group in the mid to late 50s. 154 of them received a fourth dose of the Pfizer vaccine and 120 received the Moderna vaccine. And overall, the Israeli healthcare workers that received this fourth shot didn't show that much benefit. They were still likely contagious to others due to a high viral load after becoming infected with COVID, and everyone's COVID symptoms were relatively mild, whether they had gotten a second booster or not. Because remember, the control group was those that had already received one booster. Overall, the Pfizer vaccine was found to have an efficacy of 30% at preventing infections with the Omicron variant, while the Moderna vaccine was only 11% effective at preventing Omicron infections. So at this point, I will likely only recommend a second booster for my most at-risk elderly patients. Booster shot protection wanes in just a couple of months, so a booster shot now probably will protect you into the early weeks of summer, but not much beyond that. But what I think will likely be a more lively discussion in the weeks to come is when are we going to see a composition change to the vaccine? Because what we really need is a vaccine that works better against the new variants. Ideally ones we have now and those that will most assuredly come in the future. On April 6, the FDA's outside vaccine experts will debate when all eligible adults will need a fourth dose of the mRNA vaccines. And it will be at this point that the composition of the vaccine booster will likely be discussed and debated. Let's discuss some vocabulary that you may hear get thrown around as experts continue to discuss booster shots. The current two vaccines offered in the United States are from Moderna and Pfizer. Both Moderna and Pfizer could give boosters with the exact same formulation of what has been used all along that's based on the original Wuhan strain of the virus. As we all know, as different variants have occurred, this vaccine has lost some of its effectiveness in preventing illness. The next option that both Moderna and Pfizer are developing is a booster that would protect against Omicron, which is now the most dominant strain of the virus worldwide, with the assumption that this vaccine will also protect against the current Omicron subvariant known as BA2. Another option that's being discussed is something called a pan SARS-CoV-2 vaccine that would essentially target the original Wuhan or wild type viral strain, as well as the Omicron strain. And the US Army is currently in the process of analyzing phase one data for this type of vaccine that they've developed called the spike ferritin nanoparticle COVID-19 vaccine. And finally, the last type of booster that will take a while to develop is a pan coronavirus vaccine that will protect against many types of coronaviruses, including the ones that cause many of the common colds but this development will likely take years. I'm hoping that when a fourth dose of the mRNA vaccine is recommended for all adults, it will contain a vaccine against the original Wuhan version of the virus plus the Omicron variant. 
I think it will be a hard sell otherwise. Just like the influenza vaccines, the COVID vaccines need to adapt to the changing strains that are emerging around the world. And the beauty of this new mRNA vaccine platform is that it allows this to occur in a more timely and cost-effective way. At this point, I would recommend a fourth booster only for high-risk patients older than 65. For everyone else, I will counsel them to wait until a new formulation has been developed that will cover the current variants. This likely will be available for the fall. Thanks for joining me.